I wasn't going to take you step by step on this one, but we got the patch piece put all in. Everything's looking freaking amazing on that. And just like everybody's complaining about, oh, it looks bad. That is not, eh, look at that. Oh, oh, there's such a giant gap. No, oh no. Maybe the camera adds a little bit and makes it look worse. Oh, oh, that's right. Hole. Oh. That's why I showed you with the other piece. There's not much of a gap, yo. But <laughs> we've been working on filling all the little holes in the floor and getting everything else in. I got the rest of that locked in. And then a nice cool thing I did. I got all that kind of metal finished in. I got a little bit more to grind on that. I gotta pop all those welds down. But we just been filling all the holes up and around. We'll get those Clecos out next. I'm sorry I didn't take you on the step-by-step -step journey. I've just been kind of hauling ass trying to get all this stuff done. So that's a ton of shit done this weekend, a ton of stuff done last week, and a ton of stuff done last week. And hopefully this week I get the bike, freaking get Grace all ready to airbrush or airbrushed. So we're back to motivated and back to rocking. Tomorrow I'm probably going to be doing a lot of cleaning at the bus and over at the shop because there needs cleaning all over the place. So, and I eventually got to do some laundry, go get some groceries. So I might elect to do that tomorrow. I might end up getting some sleep. But I'm going to call it there for today on this. I, I'm tired. I'm just pooped. But I've done a lot on this truck. And I know you guys, a lot of you that have been following along the whole time will know that we did all the firewall. We got everything smoothed up here. We got that piece smoothed out. We got that one installed and smooth. Yeah, I got a little bit more left to do. We still got a bunch of holes kind of all up in here. And I'll be working on that next week. Along with all of those Clecos. I still got to attach this one in. That's why I looked over. It's got a little bit of oil can, but I left it unattached as we were doing stuff. But yep, got to finish putting all those in. Get the rest of that welded in. And got a few more holes in the dash. But other than that, I'm kind of starting to narrow it down to minor things. Like, I got a little bit of trim I got to tighten in. And there's the rust holes on the upper part on the other side. So, that's something that definitely needs taken care of. But I'll do that once I get it down. We got that pinholes in there. We want to make sure we get that taken care of. I am tired. And we are going to call it there, folks. I love all of you so much. And if you haven't hit the subscribe or you haven't hit like or haven't hit comment, please do. Like the, the likes and the comments and the subscribes definitely help me like make this dream happen. And I try and show being my own hero every day. Try and show what I think my hero should be doing. Think of what I, what I, what I should be doing in 10 years. Would he be proud of where I'm at and what I've gotten done and what I'm motivated to do. And all these things are helping me get out of Kansas and getting me to Oklahoma. So I'm excited to get down there and start working on some really cool cars and start building some cool other stuff and maybe make a little bit of scratch. So I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.